Hey, this is Quentin from Network Creations TV, and I am excited because I have Ice Cream Sandwich installed on my Galaxy Note. How I got it was uh, last night, it was late, and some people, I think it was on Root, Root Wiki, that's the site, uh, they had a download for it, and I downloaded it, but then another guy on XDA forum, the XDA developer forum, had a, made a ROM for it after he downloaded it. So I downloaded that instead because I didn't want to lose my root. But I'm really excited. I'm, I've been waiting on Ice Cream Sandwich, you know, AT&T and Samsung or Google, whatever. It's taking forever. But I've been waiting on it to uh, come out for the note. It's supposed to come out in quarter two, but who knows? That could be the end of June. But uh, it's, it's just a base version of it. Uh, I, I'll let you have a look at it if you can see it. It runs really smooth. I have Nova Launcher installed on it. I, I really like Go Launcher EX, but uh, Nova Launcher seems to run really well on it. Uh, the issue, only issue I really have with it is it it, it comes with TouchWiz, the ice cream serve, ice cream sandwich ver version for uh, the Note, and I, I don't I don't mind TouchWiz, but I like pure Google. I would rather have a pure ice cream sandwich. Cause I think they really improved it over uh, gingerbread, and it, I just like it that way. And uh, with Nova Launcher, it tries to keep the launcher that you had original launcher as stock as possible. So even when I installed uh, Nova Launcher, it was using a lot of the old TouchWidget uh, icons. So I had to start download another program uh, to to get some of the ice cream sandwich uh, icons and familiar. Uh, programs that go with it. Uh, the program I used uh, was was called AP Pro Widgets and I basically just got it just so I could have the, the ice cream sandwich phone icon and the web and, the, and uh, the camera just that the whole look. I like the whole look of ice cream sandwich. But the Nova Launcher it runs really smooth a lot smoother than Go Launcher did on this. I don't know why. Go Launcher usually runs really well on, uh, on other uh, earlier versions of Android but this is just a base version. It's not really, uh, it's not deep loaded. It still has all the AT&T bloat apps on it. Uh, we can go into system settings and I can show you. This is Ice Cream Sandwich 4.03 if you can see it, if it focuses. And uh, it's, a, it's a custom, it's a ROM. It's not a like an official version. But it really runs really well. I've tested it. I mean, I, I can make phone calls. My Google Voice works, everything. I'm kind of new to rooting. Uh, I just started rooting phones. Actually, when I got this phone, I've had, I've installed two custom ROMs so far on this phone, and I've enjoyed both of them. I had the uh, unofficial uh, Alpha 2 version 1 and the unofficial Alpha, uh, no, I'm sorry, Alpha 9 version 1 and unofficial Alpha 9 version 2. I think that's what it's called. It's, a, it's made by the collective. I, I think it's a group of developers that just go work together and make ROMs. I'm not sure. Uh, they're on the XDA forums. Uh, I really like those a lot too, but I really, I wanted Ice Cream Sandwich. And they're going to come out with a version. I can't wait. I'm really waiting on that. So uh, it's really smooth. I mean, I haven't had any issues. It's got a lot of the same menus, but a lot of the TouchWiz menus are in here too, which I don't mind that much. Um, it's got the, uh, you know, the ice cream sandwich, the data usage, um, the data usage part where you can you can uh, adjust your data and set a limit and it'll cut off just like on the Galaxy Nexus, which I have. Um, what else? Uh, everything. It's pretty. If you if you're familiar with ice cream sandwich, it's pretty. It's got some of the base stuff, but not uh, everything. Another thing I like about it is just what I like about ice cream sandwiches is really smooth. It's a lot smoother than um, than uh, previous versions of Android. Not quite as smooth as iOS, but still pretty smooth. Uh, you can go into developer options and force uh, GPU rendering, and it'll make it it's hardware two D hardware acceleration, and it'll make it work a lot better on some applications. Um, I haven't had any issues with it though. No force closes. Uh, when I first installed it, uh, what was it? 
my uh I use a, a app called Power Amp for my music. It didn't load and it kept force closing, so I had to reinstall it from the market. But uh that's a that's just a brief overview. If you wanna uh install ice cream sandwich on your node, if you have a node, if you're if you're familiar with rooting, just go to uh the XDA developer forum. You probably heard of it. And they've got threads on it and instructions on how to do it, but I'm really excited about it. I'm I'm looking forward. The collective, the people I was, the group I told you about before, they're coming out with a ROM also, and I'm probably gonna make it. Uh, download. I may not never wait on a, wait on an update again. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> but this is Quentin from Network Creations TV. Just a brief overview of Ice Cream Sandwich on my my Galaxy Note, and I'm really liking it. Uh, tell me, uh, leave some comments and say. I mean, if you like it. Well, let me know, and if you want to put it on, or you into rooting, or what do you like, Apple, I, or do you like Android? I, I like both. I'm not a, I'm not a loyalist, loyalist to any uh, either one, but I like Android's openness. But I like Apple. I mean, I got a Mac, uh, and I like the I, the iPhone, and I got an iPad. But anyway, I'm going off on a tangent. But anyway, uh, this is just a brief uh, video of ice cream sandwich on the the Samsung Galaxy Note.